Hey DP, Colleen Murphy here. I'm here to talk to you about something really important today. Every year, once a year, our leadership students go on this stage, dance, and make a complete fool of themselves. It's called air bands. It's happening today. You can help. Come to the Greek today at lunch and show your support for the cause. It, you really can make all the difference. Good morning, Chargers. Nate and Macy here. It's almost the weekend. That's right. So kick back and relax because here comes your news. lunch in the Greek is the all but boring leadership air bands. Air bands features our leadership class dancing to some of your favorite songs. This is a highly awaited event so make sure you get to the Greek for a good seat. As many of you may already know, uh, for those sophomores and juniors wanting to take the SBCC English 110 course we have offered on campus, the dual enrollment test takes place March 14th in the CAF. Students need to follow the following procedure online to register. See your counselor if you have any further questions. In order to sign up for Color Guard next year, you need to simply sign up for Marching Band. And for more info about Color Guard, you can go to dpnews.org. Oh, hey, kind sir. Oh, nice. hey. Nice to Dia. What does Dia mean? There's drafting engineers and architects. I thought it meant dragging the eggs and apples. Nope. Here's more. Today's engineering and architectural fields both depend upon computer-aided drafting. CAD software. Students in this class will learn the basics of AutoCAD products, a global leader in the market. For students who are thinking about a career in engineering or architecture, CAD is a must-learn skill. For students who are hoping to own a home or business one day, learning to use this software will allow them to draw a set of plans for home or office projects. The class is a mixture of self-paced and instructor-led projects. This class gives you three free units at City College. So Nate, there's this guy I met and I figured out that we both really like dancing. Well, that's some great timing because Sadie's Hawkins is coming right around the corner. I know. Tickets go on sale Monday. They're $4 for people with charger cars, $6 without, and $8 at the door. Outside guests are welcome, but you have to go pick up a guest form in Miss Ree Hage's office. And guest tickets are $8 and cannot be bought at the door. I hope to see everyone there. All right, that's all we have for you on Campus News. Let's see what's going on with sports with John Herrera. Last night, boys volleyball had a game here against Oxnard here in our gym. The boys came away with their first win and swept going 25-20, 25-22, and 25-21. Setter Mark Raphael had 28 assists and added 4 kills, boosting DP over Oxnard. Today, Swim and Dive has their first meet in the Channel League Relays at Santa Barbara High at 2. Good luck, guys. Tomorrow, Track and Field has our first meet. Our team travels down to Moore Park High School for the Dons Green invite on Saturday. Yesterday... Boys Varsity Baseball had their second game of the Eastern Tournament, traveling down to Calabasas. Nick Noggle and Luke Coffey both had home runs to lift the boys over Calabasas 7-5. Coffey went 3-4, for four, including a two-run double in a five-run third inning. The score was tied at 5 when Nick Noggle blasted a ball over the left field wall in the sixth inning. The boys continued the Eastern Tournament with a game on Saturday. Also yesterday, Frost Baseball had their first game here at home against Bishop Diego. They had more than enough offense and killed Bishop 29-2. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good day, DP. Hey, it's Paige and Hannah here to announce your January and February Student of the Month. Our first Student of the Month has been described by teachers as smart, a dedicated member of the Usherettes Club, and a joy to be around in the classroom. Our January Student of the Month is Juliana Hernandez. Yay! 
Our February student of the month is nominated for her cheerful optimism, continued excellence, and patient mentoring of less experienced writers. Our February student of the month is Julia Derigatis. Congratulations, guys.